What's up, y'all? Welcome back to The Clutch. My name is John. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing real quick and then we're going to do an update on our first clutch. You guys just watched a video last week of us cutting them. Uh, there's some really good news in this update and some not so good news. Dive into this unboxing real quick and then we'll go check out the baby snakes. We got this snake from Jason over at Morph Mixology. Uh, he gave us a whole bunch of stickers, but the kids already got a hold of them. So, sorry Jason, I can't show off your collection, but I, I like the way that he does his packaging. It's pretty nice. Like I said, the kids got all the stickers. I think the wife may have stole one or two. And uh, I definitely got one on the incubator, but the kids got a hold of the wrist. But I really like his packaging. The box is already open because obviously I needed to check on her before I did this video. Uh, with her coming from up north and during this time of year, I wanted to make sure that she was good. That was first and foremost our biggest concern, right? Um, I love this fluff. I do the same stuff, so I'm really happy that someone else uses it towards me. But I like what he does. I might have to steal this idea, in all honesty, of using electrical tape to tie off the bag. Come here. She does look like she's getting ready to go into a little shed cycle. Here we go. So this is our newest pickup. This is a GHI Mojave, possible het clown, and then there's a possible dinker gene that popped up within this clutch over at Jason's that he's calling the Claire gene, if I remember right. Um, I still have to talk to him, obviously, and see what he's seeing and see if there's anything there with it, but. She's freaking gorgeous. Uh, GHI Mojave's are a combo you just can't beat. I freaking love them. So now we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna look at these guys. Um, I haven't sexed them at all because they still haven't had their first shed. And oh, <laughs> a little umbilicus is still kinda Getting together all the way. It didn't focus. <laughs> Just took a little bit of a gap. Uh -huh. So we're gonna start with this guy or girl. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Um, this is a little Pastave. We found out that the Dame actually has Mojave in her. So instead of just being a super pastel pinstripe, it's a super pastel Mojave pinstripe. Which, I mean, extra jeans is always freaking awesome when you're not expecting it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just picturesque of freaking Mojave and pastel. It's a beautiful snake. It's just really, really gorgeous. Like it's really dark blacks. I love how pretty the lips are on the bill. Like how white it is. It fades up into the eye lines. It's freaking gorgeous. Let's see if we can. That's a boy. So the Pastave is a male. Hopefully we're not super male heavy. Get back over here, crazy. 
Um, this next one is a pastel orange dream. I think he's my favorite. Just a, another simple two jean combo. Just really beautiful though. Kind of like the flaking throughout. Really, really pretty. Uh, I don't think there's any Mojave in this one. Doesn't seem like there would be to me, but again, I'm not an expert. Not seeing anything. I think that might be a female. And obviously the, uh, the best orange stream female will probably be sticking here so that we can work towards making some better combos in the future. Um, and going into this one, I think what I have here is an orange dream lemon blast. So orange dream pastel pinstripe. I don't see anything else. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious. A nice dark purple head right now. It'll probably fade away a little bit. Um, and then the nice orange blushing down here. It's okay, bud. Are you breaking it? And that's a boy. That was very, very, very simple. Oh well, I guess I'll have tea on me. Okay, so number two is the same way. This pattern, or the pattern on this one's a little bit more reduced though. I kind of like it because it's less busy. The head's kind of two-toned versus the other one was really dark. But again, I think this is just another version of a orange dream pastel pinstripe. I don't think there's Mojave in this at all, but it's just, it's freaking killer. I really like the orange on this one. And I hope that it's a girl, cause if this is a girl, it's staying here. As a girl that one will be staying if it is uh, obviously they're still young so I might be wrong or I might be having issues getting them to pop but that one's gorgeous so I got we have what two two boys and two girls so far. So splitting the sex odds 50-50 right now. And we have these last two. Kinda wanna save that one for last. Okay, so this is what I believe to be a pastel pinstripe Mojave. another name for it. I think it's Pastel Jigsaw is the other name for it. It's freaking wicked pretty snake.
that looks like a girl. So the last one, I believe to be the same thing. Uh, these last two don't have orange dream in them, just pastel jigsaws. But this one has a wicked freaking pattern on it, I guess. I don't know. That almost doesn't look pinstripe to me, it looks. Um, It might be Pastavi and Orange Dream, and I'm just not seeing the Orange Dream in it. Because it now like that the I'm. The belly is a little bit orange on camera. Yeah, like, but very soft. The. It definitely looks past it. Yeah, it doesn't have that pinstripe push into it. it well, it kind of does, but it's weird. So I don't know. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. That one's confusing the hell out of me. I'm still a gorgeous snake though. I'm gonna have to ask some people and be like, look, what do you think? Because to me, that's not a pinstripe. So, literally 50 50 on sexing on three boys, three girls. And we had one that didn't make it, like I said. I'll show you that here in a second. Unfortunately, that's just kind of kind of the way things work out sometimes. They're not all gonna make it. Um, but these guys are freaking cool and they seem to be doing really well and I'm happy about it. So they are gonna continue to stay in here until they shed and then we'll get them separated and get them to start eating so that you all that are interested can get your snakes from Feely's Clutch. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, we'll put Jason's information down in the description below. That way you can check him out. Beautiful freaking baby. I hope you guys enjoyed all the new snakes that we have here. If you are interested in any of ours, make sure you reach out to us. Uh, all our contact information is down below. Y'all stay blessed. We're going to see you on the next one.